The best part about the RuneScape community is all of the challenges people come up with. And I think it's time I set a challenge for myself. What if I started with absolutely nothing but house teleports, could only use one monster per combat level, and act as an ultimate Iron Man? I must use the items and gear collected to upgrade my character in the hopes to kill stronger enemies. I will allow myself the use of shops, but I cannot sell it to them. I am also restricting myself from buying runes and food to make the challenge more rewarding. To make gear upgrades much more beneficial, I am also restricting myself the use of protection prayers. Every upgrade counts. There's just one question we're trying to answer. What combat level monster will be my demise? Let's get started. Today I'm here to tell you about Creator Crafted, which is sponsoring today's video. I absolutely fell in love with their products, and I'm sure you will too. Creator Crafted offers exclusive LED signs that are the first officially licensed OSRS-inspired product of its time. They have a 50,000 hour LED lifespan. It's super easy to set up, it's as easy as plugging it in, and of course, the main part, it makes for amazing decor. You can hang it up with a wall mounting kit that it comes with, you can lean it against something, or you can use the stand it comes with so you can make sure it goes exactly where you want it to go. And if LED lights aren't your thing, maybe a sick RuneScape design under your fingertips is. Check out these OSRS themed mouse mats featuring epic RuneScape designs for you to choose from. Now some of these are in fact limited edition, so if you want to snag yourself something nice or get that perfect gift for a RuneScape player in your life, then make sure to go down to the description, hit that link, and use my code RAR10 to get 10% off of your purchase. And every single purchase will actually help out the channel directly, so thank you guys so much and thank you to Creator Crafted for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the video. I do also want to preface before we start the video that, of course, I can't kill every single monster in RuneScape because a lot of monsters are quest locked or you can only kill them once for other reasons. Some, I have to kill a lot of other monsters to be able to get to another monster. An example of that would be like the Ranger in Fight Caves or General Grardor because you need the 40 kills to get in. So, of course, if it's a monster like that, I don't even mention it in the video. I just skip over. How crazy is it that we're starting this off with a chicken? It's like the only monster you can kill that actually drops anything as a level one. There's also a rabbit in Prif that drops meat, but we get some food. But ultimately, I wanted the feathers. The bones, gonna be pointless though. We're gonna get a lot of those, I bet. Speaking of rabbits, the level two Prif rabbit that I definitely can't kill with no gear, no food, no nothing, would be very impossible to kill. There's actually a lot of level two options. I wanted to kill a man for like herbs and stuff, but the hammer chance would be huge. Nothing! Literally nothing. Great start. So apparently there's a drunken man up here who's level three. So he's stronger than a normal man. So alcohol does make you stronger, apparently. There he is. And he has the same drop table as just every other man and woman in RuneScape. Coins, I mean, it's our best drop yet. Level five, one level four. Hey, oh, good luck pronouncing that. Hyde <laughs> zero. Ooh, Lantodime. That's... That's like a magic potion. That might actually be... Well, that's an anti-fire, isn't it? That, you know, that could have some use. So as everyone knows, there's many types of goblins. There's also many types of level 5 goblins. This one, outside of the Grand Exchange, has the highest chance of dropping a hammer. A 1 in 8 chance. Just like the level 2 one we attacked. Oh, man. That's not... One coin? Dude. Okay, I don't have a light source. But I'm not scared of the dark. Could I even get a kill down here? I gotta kill one cave bug. It was either that. It was either that or a mugger. And these guys drop herbal secondaries. So we're gonna give it a try. I can't attack. It's gonna have to be a mugger. At least make it worth my while. Dude, come on. A revenant imp. Now I'm not scold. I'm nothing. Why do I keep getting nothing? I wasn't scold on purpose. Scold only increases the likelihood of getting like an emblem or something, which is incredibly rare, but you actually can't get a D-Med if you are scold. Okay, this may be tricky since I can't actually use protection prayers. Let's get the extra defense though. They're all gonna swarm me. We just gotta kill one level eight. We gotta kill one level eight. They drop some gear we could potentially use. There's no way. There. Okay. Oh, that just made it a lot easier. How am I not killing a level eight? Coins. 
I have great news, guys. We are about to get an upgrade because we can actually make this into a little helmet. Okay, let's buy a chisel. We can use the shops, of course. And we get the snell. Now, these defensive bonuses are actually around equal to a steel medium helmet. Not many great options for a level 10 monster, but these guys do drop both an iron bar and a bronze bar. Nature runes! That's huge! Those could be elks. Oh my god, yes. I did not know they even dropped nature runes. I will take those. We just need fire runes now. But fire runes are going to be easier to get for sure. Not very creative, but it is my best option. We're going to kill another dwarf. Level 11 this time. Oh, I was hoping for some more gnats. Can't get that lucky. I used to kill these guys every single time I had a new account that I wanted to train range on. Because they dropped exactly this. I was hoping for a bronze spear. Didn't get it. We're gonna go right next door to kill a goblin level 13. I had a few options with this one. I can kill any of the wizards that drop runes. I could have got my fire runes most likely, but I I think those are gonna be very easy to get. I want to get a weapon. Nope. There are no level 14 monsters that drop anything, but gonna kill this diseased woman just for the formality. We're back in the rev caves at the goblins. Surely we get something that isn't nothing. Get KO'd, idiot. Ah, uh, okay. Level 16 goblin this time. Still holding out for that weapon. Nature runes. We take those, fellows. We take those. So we'll have a 1 in 10 chance of getting either the top or the bottom. And some prayer bonus would be really nice. Oop. There's just a lot of wearable items we can get from killing a ham guard. Not looking for anything in specific. Anything that gives stats. I just want armor and weapons. Level 19 guard with a staff. One coin? Okay, now I'm really being trolled. Level 20 Forgotten Soul. They drop every single battle staff plus a steel longsword. All 1 in 128, but there's five options. And we can get lucky. Uh, that could be a super attack. We can easily buy an Eye of Newt. Level 21 Guard. Honestly, just like GP would be nice. Iron Bolts? We are back. But instead of 18, he's 22 this time. Coins! I want a wearable item! Pirates actually drop some armor some weapons dude every time i get excited i'm just so let down really we're just looking for any herb that we can use in any potion at any point during this progression i'll take coins what are the chances i get my spear now no absolutely not. I, I should stop expecting it. I, I think I need to look for coins. I'm going to ask for coins next time. So we need to get to the Durish Khan to kill a level 26 goblin. And we're using this train to avoid getting a light source. Because it's all about the 200 IQ strats. Just kidding. We actually do need a light source. But we can spend six coins to get such a thing. Oh, he's going to hook me up with something. I feel it. Oh, that is something. That is something. The upgrades. Check me out. Honestly, not bad. We had nothing before. I want to remind everyone that this guy still drops his speed. Oh, that's a... Whoa, that's a good weapon. <laughs> it's a better weapon. I was going to say he drops a spear, but you know what? We take that. Hobgoblins for 28. They drop an array of weapons, and they also have a chance of dropping a limport root pretty commonly, which could potentially be a super strength pot. They also drop herbs, so let's see. Hmm... Back Assault's 10 GP? I need him for my next monster. It's weird that I'm worried about spending 10 GP right now. All right, we definitely don't want to mess this up with the salt. There we go. Copper. Hmm. Sammy Monkro Bottoms, please. Damn. These guys don't drop anything but bones alongside all the other level 31 monsters. Tribes been level 32. They drop lots of spears, lots of herb lore secondaries. That might be the only herb I didn't want to get. <laughs> If we happen to get a Harrowlander, we can guarantee ourselves, at the very least, a combat potion. Now, we do already have a super attack, so as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty much like a strength potion to me. There's Speedy Keith. Get him, level 34. There's actually quite a few level 34s around here. As long as a 130 isn't attacking me, there's one attacking me. We should be able to get him down. Pity. Pity it up. Sidestep this guy real quick. Hmm, wow. Jagex. Level 35, we're just going for a nice herb drop here. Taramin. That could be a strength pot. Hey guys, look, I found Mod Mac K. Oh, this is annoying. 37's a really tricky one. I can kill the Birther of Guards, which ultimately is what I'm going with. 
but I can also kill some archer. I don't know if it's a birth orb archer. It's not these level 42 ones, but also sour hog. Sour hogs drop an Addy Simi, Addy Kite, but it's a little too rare. These guys drop some myth equipment and some steel equipment that I could possibly get, and it's a lot more common, so I'm gonna go with the odds here. Ah, darn it. Colonel Raddick never saw a common level 38. I'll take those. The 30 combat range really wasn't that great at all. Oh, 37 was the best combat level by far, and unfortunately, all the good options were level 37. Level 40, Tarn Slayer. We're not fully in the Tarn Slayer, but it's saying that this skeleton counts as a Tarn Slayer skeleton. And let me just say, they drop a lot of weird stuff and a lot of upgrades we can get. Dude! Level 41, Flesh Crawler coming up. Oh, wow. Okay, that is incredibly pointless. There are combat levels ranging from level 40 to level like 100 something. We want the 42 skeleton. We could buy that. Level 43 pyrophenes. At the very least, I'd like fire runes. Oh my gosh, that's an upgrade. Oh, oh baby, that is, that is actually one hell of an upgrade. This should be interesting. I am currently diseased. Level 44 Zogar. I love how they just dance. They don't just stand normally. They literally dance for us. Yeah, that took a while, but 100% drop the Ogre Coffin Key. Now, there are some things we can get that are useful. Rog Bones! I think that is actually some of the best stuff you can get, but absolutely... Oh, no, it's Org Bones. It's just kind of close to my name, so it's... <laughs> It's kind of cool. All right, we are currently waiting for the organized crime to show up here. We need to kill one level 45 gangster. We're probably going to come back to kill level 50 gangster in a little bit. So we might return, but we can get rune scimitar. Also a lot of stuff that we don't need at all. Like a gold bar. Level 46 already night. They don't drop anything, but as always, we need to kill every single combat level. Level 47 Tarn Slayer zombie. Come on, he's got a juicy drop table. Ah, we can't use protection prayers, but a prayer pot definitely can't hurt. The only level 48 moss giants in the entire game are the ones you find on the Pirate's Cove. Cool little fun fact that I literally just learned. For coins, the only big ticket item I can get from these guys is an Addy Medhelm, one in 101, but there are fire runes that we now have, so we can cast Alks. And look at that, we have exactly three casts of Alk that we can do. Did a little spring cleaning, just getting rid of some things that I definitely don't need. And we're back at the gangs, level 50 this time, of course. Maybe we'll be back to kill the gang boss, who knows? Maybe, maybe not, it's Mahogany Plank. Man, it's not that common to get like a piece of black equipment here and I just not getting any upgrades. Level 51 Dark Warrior for coins. Please be a lot, oh, you know what? The coins are going up quick now. Revenant Pyrophy next. I think we'll get him down just fine, but for all the other revs, if I don't get any major upgrades, I will definitely be a little nervous, just like when people like that run. Oh, uh, don't tell me there's a PKer. Just get the kill. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Ah, uh, decent amount of coins. Level 53, we can get some... There's a few bit of things we can get that can upgrade some items here, or an additional nice item or we get an emerald uh we have gold bars mm, yeah maybe maybe some jewelry on the horizon possibly amulet of defense perhaps the only level 54 that i can kill is this splatter i don't want to go in mini games like this unless i absolutely have to and trust me in this case i absolutely had to zombie swab coming up not many good drops in this one but there's a few that could help us out Coin. So, okay. And yes, we're back at the Tarns. This time we're killing a level 56 zombie. Bro, these coins, these coins are gonna drive me crazy. The amount of zombies and skeletons that I have killed in this episode so far is insane. And coins, Jagex, piece of advice. The coin drops have to go. We want gnats. Oh, bronze spear, oh. Oh my gosh, it is. We really take what we can get. I'm a little nervous. I'm going to go on a zero streak here and not get this kill. Okay. 59 skeleton coming up. Coins. Are you kidding me? I might die. 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 Dude, I'm not sure if there's a point where they stop healing. 
because this is the same hobgoblin. Nope, there he goes. He heals. Oh my god, we're both gonna risk it. Get him down! Oh my gosh! No, for such a bad drop! One of these days, I'm gonna get a drop from the Tarn Slayer that I could actually use. <sighs> Not gonna say it this time. And welcome everybody to the Coin Drop Simulator in Old School RuneScape. I'm definitely feeling this one. This guy has something really good for us. <laughs> I mean, that... That could possibly come in handy. The level 64 catable ponds now. Law runes. Mm. Funny enough, for level 65, it was either a splatter again in pest control or a baby red dragon in my player-owned house. Infernal mage, level 66. Death runes. Level 67 zombie. I'm coming after this guy very soon. Gold necklace. At least we... Oh. It's a wearable item. <laughs> Mahogany planks elk for 900 GP each. So I could actually get an Addy Mace right now. I'm not gonna buy it now because I seem to still be killing monsters okay. The moment we start to struggle is when I'll have to really start thinking about how I'm gonna manage my money and the elks. And also, I have an emerald. We have the gold bar. We can buy a ball of wool. We can buy an amulet mold. So literally, if we can get cosmic runes, that's also an amulet of defense. We got a level 68 Catable Pawn, if I'm even saying that name right. Ooh, that's how we get nothing. So the next monster I want to kill for level 69 is an Avianzi, which has a 1 in 4 chance of dropping 4 Addy Bars and a 1 in 11 chance of dropping a Rune Dagger P+. The only problem is, is that I need range to kill it. So I'm thinking of just going dirt cheap. Do you think Willow Short Bows with Bronze Arrows? I don't, I don't think that'll cut it. But I, I really don't want to spend too much money. It's taken 68 kills to get that much cash. I think we're going to try it. We're going to drop the raw chicken and the raw snail. Oh, okay. We're going to go willow short bow. I actually have like six iron arrows as well. I mean, 50 bronze has to be enough. Oh, this might be a mess. We can get in like a good position. Oh, man. It like kind of... Fuck. We, we might have to make a few trips. We might have to damage it and keep coming back. I don't know how else to do that. Get it down. Do I risk this? I'm just going to come back. I'm not dying. That is so annoying. All right, where is he? Don't kill my Avianzi. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you... Oh. <laughs> Level 70 zombie this time. Oh... I don't know if this is gonna be an upgrade. 18 strength? I, it might not actually be better because it's 6 tick, but we can use it for some stuff. We can also use a shield with it, which might make it better than the spear, but we also don't have a shield yet. Oh, this might be such a gamer moment. I'm running out of inventory. I'll just tell you. I'll just tell you. I'll need to drop something, though, to pick up any loot I get. You know what we'll do? Um, We'll put that in there. Boom. There's our slot. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, guys. I think the 70s combat range might be the best one so far. Well, not when I get law runes. We have zombie level 72 coming up and... Coins. We are stuck killing a level 73 wolf and I'm annoyed. There's a level 73 Avianzi, but the only way to get to the only level 73 Avianzi is through using a mithril grapple and a crossbow. So instead we get bones. So next up, we're going to kill an Ice Troll for 74. The tricky thing with Ice Trolls is that there's actually two variants, and both variants look exactly the same, but they have different drop tables. One of the variants has the exact same drop table as normal standard Mountain Trolls. The other one is the one that drops things like the Rune Kite Shield, the Granite Shield. And the way to tell the difference is its aggressive range. The Mountain Troll variant, we'll call them, the one who drops the shitty ones, will only attack you if you're right next to it. The other variant, the good variant, has an attack radius of five squares. So like this one, this one's the bad one because he's not attacking us. Bro, we need new gear fast. You know it's bad when an ice troll is literally kicking my butt. A level 74 ice troll. I, oh my God. 
I'm gonna have to fucking telly. I'm gonna have to fucking telly. Are you kidding me? A nice troll! Bro, he's still literally kicking my ass. I need upgrades. Dude, he's literally still kicking my butt. Oh, oh that's huge. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna miss the Snelm. But that's such a fat upgrade. First kill with the new helm, level 75, Anku Law Runes. Level 76, Zombie and Tarn Slayer, coming up. Rune Nails, what? I just dropped those iron bolts, not that I'm gonna use Rune Nails for- What? <laughs> That's so weird! I don't think you guys understand how much time I've spent on this video, literally just walking around Tarn Slayer, almost dying, like right now, with no food, running out of prayer, because I'm using Piety for defensive, because they smack you, the traps. I hate this place. It's so hard to find some of these monsters, but 77 skeleton. Give me something good. We, got, we gotta drop something if we get a decent drop here. Anti-poison? Oh, I already have one. I'm not even gonna pick it up. Myth boots, myth kite, rune full helm. I think they drop a lot of coins too. Oh, I definitely just jinxed it. As soon as I said it. All right, I'm sick of the inventory being really full. We're gonna cut these gems. We can easily buy back a chisel if we need another one. Gonna drop the iron chain body. Uh, I'll keep the light source for now. We're not gonna need the rune now. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we don't need, but I just like seeing all the stuff that we got. So unless I need to drop something, probably just keep my inventory looking a bit cluttered. I'm a tank. Let's go, I'm a tank. It's, it's that, it's the Addy full helm tank. Oh my God, I'm gonna tell you. I, that counts, right? I'm gonna go back and get that. Don't do it to me. Please be there. Please be there. Adam and I bars. Adam and I bars. Oh gosh, we need to get some. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking die again. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ah. Uh. So I just went to death and got all my stuff back, but there was still some supplies on the ground that I hope did not disappear. Uh. And fuck me, they've just- I don't even know what I lost. So I lost my anti-poison, which might be beneficial later on, and I lost my irate potion unfinished, which of course was my super attack. So that came at a cost. But we got the Addy Bars, fellas. Okay, so originally I wanted to make an Addy Mace and an Addy Kite. Addy Kite is worse than Addy Legs, but I figured it's easier to get a leg upgrade over a shield upgrade. But then I'm thinking, I could have just bought an Addy Mace, and I didn't. The Addy Mace, I wouldn't say it's like astronomically worse than an Addy Sim, but an Addy Sim is definitely a lot better. It's got five strength over, so an extra max hit, it's more accurate. So I'm gonna go for an Addy Sim, and then go for an Addy Square Shield, which I don't know if that's the right move to, to make. I'm just... I'm trying to formulate what kind of drops I'm going to get, and I'm convinced I'm going to get a leg drop somewhere. Uh, but we needed a, a weapon upgrade really freaking bad. The difference in damage with the Addy Scimitar is so good, man. So good. Oh, this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. We're attacking the level 81. We got the kill, but will the 100 take us out? Powerlander. Oh, that could be a super, not a super, a normal combat pot. And we're not going to make the potion until we absolutely need it, because as we learn the hard way, we lose our potions when we die if we don't get back quick enough. Man, I've been seeing PKers everywhere. I had to hop four times just to walk to this Revenant Cyclops. I am so nervous right now, and it's a good thing we have a weapon upgrade, because we could barely kill a Hobgoblin before. I'm assuming this Addy Sim is going to be able to take down the Cyclops, though, no problem. <sighs> Oh, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We're going to have to try again. I think it's possible. It's just going to take a few attempts. Just like the Hobgoblin. Range is the secret here. It's range. With melee, I was not getting that down. It's a shame range is so expensive. Onyx bolt tips. Those are going to have some elk value. Ah, it's not even better than the mahogany planks that I have. Ah, I was hoping to be a bit higher. Oh, I walked in here and he was pretty much already dead. Thankfully, we don't have to go to the wildy one for the level 83. You know, I'd love a rune dagger poison drop. I think that'll help a lot. Oh, <gasps> no way! No way! 
I'm actually a little upset because I just made the Addy Scimitar. I mean, the Addy Sim is technically better, but this poisons, dude. I, I, I don't know. I'm really stoked about that. So we're going to go for the Zamorak Warriors. And I say plural because there's level 84 and a level 85. And of course, they drop the Rune Simi 1 in 50. They also drop other things like Adamant Longswords that I guess could be Elks. They also drop a Rune Dagger, which, I mean, as we've just seen, it's a 4.8k Elk. I mean, oh, the poison. I don't think I'll be out in this one, but uh, think about how insane it would be if we get a rune scimitar right here. Yeah. Level 86 fire giant. A lot of fire runes. Level 87 skeleton. Bronze full helm. All right, we need to invest into a anti-dragon fire shield because I want to kill a green dragon. And, wow, only 26 coins? Perfect. I probably should have killed the lower level Greed Dragon when I had the chance because I have a guaranteed Dehyde drop, which I'm going to easily turn into Vams. And uh, that can be an Elk or just my best glove slot right now. And our inventory is full. We don't need feathers. We can buy those back really easily. Oh, it's noted. That's right. That's kind of awkward. Okay. Boom. That's all we want. And the coins. Of course, the coins. Whoa, 1k. A little bit more spring cleaning. I'm going to miss that Snelm so much. I'm going to miss it being in my inventory. Okay, tan. Boom. Boom. Now, best glove slot as of right now. And a 1.5k Alk. Huge. How cool would it be if we got another one of those daggers? Swordfish. Oh, <gasps> that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to kind of need room. Oh, we have enough. I mean, we'll still have to do some sort of cleaning of my inventory, but that is massive. All right, I got to buy 50 more bronze arrows. We got another revenant we got to kill. And again, range seems to be the only method to really take him out. Bro, what is this guy doing? I'm going to have to eat a swordfish. We have gap. Bro, what? This guy's really going to make me ruin my fucking food and i'm poisoned that anti-poison would be so nice right about now get away get away get away get away i hate that man this isn't working this isn't working i can't get this stupid revenant hellhound down i've tried about four or five times now apparently we lost our torch on death so we had to get a candle to come down here three gp each wasn't a big deal um and we're also going to elk the Addy Scimitar, because I want to get the Bone Crossbow. Now, it's going to be very expensive to use, so I'm not really going to buy that many bolts, and I don't think I'm going to resort to using the Bone Crossbow on every monster unless I have to, like Revenants, because there's other Revenants that I have to kill, and this bow just simply is not cutting it. It was an expensive purchase, though. I really hope it's worth it, and I don't regret it. Addy bars! Addy bar! Oh, I thought I was gonna die for a second. Addy bars, Addy bars, just click, click, click. Uh, fuck the sack. Ooh, it was worth it. I think I've got a pretty good idea. I was gonna make this into Addy legs, but I can do this instead. It's not every day you come across a fat nine point something K elk, and then we can go get some rune gloves. Really annoying that I only have one elk left. I mean, we could get more gnats, of course. Oh, that is so nice. From 24 melee strength to 32. Not to mention the extra defensive bonuses that you get with that as well. Level 91 cracker. Level 92 greater demon. Tuna. Uh, okay. Level 93 scarab mage. Blood runes. How many? 18. Wow. I'm not going to die again. Come on. Come on. Shit, 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 shit. Air runes? Not even going to go back and get that. And a level 95 zombie coming up. We got to buy a nose pig real quick. Whoa, how much was that? 200 coins? Taraman. We already have one. Don't think it's worth carrying two, so that might just be dropped. Let's see what we get. Water runes, not even going to bother picking it up. I hate having to come here to kill Avians. These are just so many levels of them. 
Oh my god, that was too close. Oh, for not a good drop either. Worms up next, so we will need some boots of stone. I just realized that I could have gotten climbing boots this entire time. There are a lot of juicy drops we can get from this worm right here. Like a dragon dagger would be so sick. Oh, oh my god. Not exactly what I wanted, but that is so good. Especially with no legs and it's magic defense. Yeah, let's get those climbing boots. This counts as a shop. Hell yeah. Well, guys, we officially made it to triple digits. And yet again, we find ourselves in the Tarn Slayer. What are we going to get? Triple digits has got to be good, right? <laughs> I know everyone was thinking it. And so was I. I've had to run down her a few times to keep chipping away at this guy's health. I keep getting destroyed! Hit! At least poison or something! Why does he have more HP? No, it's the 1 0. It's the 1 0. Get him! Oh, that counts. They don't drop anything anyway. That was definitely the 101 that died. Bro, bro, these, these monsters are starting to get hard. <laughs> They're starting to get hard. This is a difficult one. I have to kill a frenzied. Uh, this guy. He's the only level 102 that I can actually attack. He's the only option for a level 102 that I can kill, and they don't even drop anything. Without protection prayers, this one's pretty hard, because I have to run through a whole bunch of ice trolls to get to the frenzied ice trolls. I was going in through the left entrance, which actually takes you into the right part of the cave, but it looks like this map link connects to the Yatizo cave. Um, or the Yatizo side, I should say. I still have to go up the exact same way, though. But the Frenzy Trolls are right here, so I need to find a way to squeeze in and then attack one. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh, no. Okay. Abort. Abort. We're just we're just going for it. Yeah, there's literally just trolls everywhere. I gotta... Oh, no. We're just gonna run right in the cave. Oh, this is the wrong cave. Dude, this is gonna be impossible. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I can't get in there? What about that other cave we ran past? Can I at least get in there to see what it looks like? Can't get in? Mmm, okay. Okay, alright. This is going to be hard. I have 18 HP. I almost want to just stay here and... Rapid heal up my HP. But if I can find a way to just sneak around, there's a bunch of honor guards over there that can help me actually get the kill. It's just I cannot be swarmed by all of these other ones. <laughs> I didn't record, but I got really flustered <laughs> and died. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be tricky. All right. We're going to see if we just literally bolt right through. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see if I can get, like, in a safe spot back here or something so I can log out and get all the aggro off me. Oh. Sort of? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's no 102s, like, in this area. I just... Oh, one's right there. I might have to wait till one of the honor guards starts attacking like that. Wait till he's low HP. I'm gonna have to wait till he's super low HP. Oh, man. And the troll is kicking his butt. I have my bone crossbow. All I need to do is just hit, like, one piece of damage on them and then let the honor guards do the rest. This one's kind of low. Oh, I did hit a nine. You don't get any XP drop? Get him down, get him down, get him down, get him down. That's it. That's it. That's the kill. There's the bones, so we're getting out of here. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that worked. These guys have a pretty unique drop table. They drop a rune simi, a rune square, and they also drop an ancient staff as well. That one's pretty rare. It's like one out of 512, so I'm not expecting that. I'm not expecting any of them. But this is the 100 and... Th they hit 20s. This is the 100... 22! Okay, calm down. All right, get just... Let's just give... Whoa, I like that death animation. Sapphire ring. Okay, I take back what I said about that death animation. That was so glitched. But we could technically make two sapphire rings. 
And those could be recoils for something. All right, we want granite shield or bust. Coins. At least there's a lot of coins. Whoa, rock. It's a good thing we do keep getting coin drops, though, because I am going to buy... Ooh, maybe I should be buying from the bowl. Ah, uh, mm. Okay, we'll just get the 150. Yeah, I think I wasted some money there. This is going to be difficult. I think I will be able to get it. It's it's going to take some attempts, though. It's going to take some attempts, and this attempt ain't going to be it, and this guy's roasting me. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm the strangest guy alive. Oh my god, hit, hit. Is that it? Oh, <gasps> whoa. Whoa, 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 for you logs. Oh, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. I don't know how I feel about that. Locust Rider up next. Thankfully, it's right next to the ladder because it is pretty chaotic down there and it's all multi-combat. It's a pretty popular cannoning spot, I'm pretty sure, for money. It's also a Slayer task. Raw Lobster, 15 of them. 107 King Sand Crab. Nature Talisman. Level 108, Elf Guard. Water runes. Don't even want them. Don't even want them. Actually, we do want to take it. We can drop the Willow Short Bow. I forgot if we get Cosmics, we need it to enchant uh, our rings that we have. I guess we need air runes as well. Level 109, Fire Giant. Fire runes. Yeah, we don't really need those anymore, do we? There's actually a fair bit of upgrades we can get from a Terror Dog. Emeralds. I already have one. Do I want to? Ah, no, I don't. Gargoyles next. Inventory management is not looking too good. Let's drop this hammer to buy this hammer. And it's 500 coins. I dropped my nose peg thinking I wouldn't need it anymore, but I need it to actually walk past the Aber Inspectors to get to gargoyles. I don't have them as a Slayer task, so I can't kill them underneath uh, the Slayer Tower. So that, that, that hurts a little bit. Was the 700 GP worth it? I sure hope so. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't great, but we kind of got our money back at the very least. Asking questions. He's asking too many questions over here. Level 112 warp jelly. Gold bar. We already have. I'm not even going to pick it up. Not even going to pick it up. Man, they had room kite shields, room full helms. What the fuck was that? A 36! This is actually a big milestone kill because our next level, 114, it's the first time that we have no monster to kill and we're going to skip right to 115. You're going to notice this trend is going to pick up quite a bit because we're entering the higher levels and that scares me because we're not looking too powerful right now. And with higher levels, there's a higher chance at getting an item, a good item, every kill. Just like that! Oh my god, guys, we needed that so bad. We needed that so bad. I'll, oh, I don't know what to get rid of. Uh, the shields, we'll, we'll need that back at some point. It's really cheap. I, I mean, I'm going to alk that for something. Until I need something, though, I'm not going to get rid of it. I dropped the rock hammer. I don't think I'll need it anymore. I want to try out the rune 2H. I'm convinced it might actually be weirdly better DPS than maybe the rune dagger. Maybe. I forgot to mention for 116, there's nothing. 117, there was nothing. That was a 118 spiritual ranger. 119, there's nothing. So I'm at 120 now, which puts me in a little bit of a pickle because that's a revenant dark beast, which of course I really want to kill that dark beast. I think it's going to be very hard. Yeah, that ain't that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. The predicament that I'm in is that I could alk the rune 2H. It alks for 38.4k, but I still can't buy anything with that. That is better than the bone crossbow. So I don't want to alk it just yet just to buy something that still isn't going to work. I might just give it a few more attempts just because see if I could get good RNG or something. Because we now have the red dehyde chaps. Oh, okay. Um, I think it's possible, actually. That was my best attempt yet. I think it's possible. We need a seed pod. We absolutely are going to get a seed pod right now because I can't keep running down a 20 wieldy like this with 11 HP and one prayer. It's a good thing this is a shop because otherwise that wouldn't be available. Oh, hit again. No, I don't heal. The problem is, is you need to hit like three decent hits in a row and just pray that he doesn't heal. Hit! 
Don't heal. No hits. No, this is it. No. No. Do they stop healing after a while? This is like my ninth trip. Oh, that's got to be it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get ready to drop. Oh, 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 and there's two of them. And there's, oh shit. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 I was so close to giving up. That was like my ninth attempt. It's hard on the rev caves because so many people log in and out and will steal the kill you were killing. Guys, this is freaking huge. We have a 121 spiritual mage. Imagine I pulled D boots. Actually, nature runes. We could use nature runes. Mud root. <laughs> oh, I just got banged out. So the only thing I'd really want from the Spiritual Ranger 122 is a magic short bow. Anything else? Yeah, not really interested. Stay back. Stay back. Bad dog. 123 mutated blood veld. Ooh, I mean, <laughs> kind of pointless to be honest. I'm just like stacking blood runes like I'm going to use them. I'm going to drop the Taramin because I have the Harrowlander I could use for a uh, combat potion. Coins. Bro, I am so dumb risking this stuff. Iron Simi, 125, Spiritual Warrior. We out. I'm really starting to hate these fucking revs. Look, there's vials on the ground and stuff. I mean, I was convinced I couldn't kill the um the Dark Beast, and we did. They're they're getting harder and harder though, obviously. Oh my god, we might kill it. Holy shit. PKer, not a PKer. Oh, we're just gonna bank and come back. Oh, are we? Are we? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Fuck. All right, yes we are, yes we are, yes we are. We're out, we're out, we're out. Okay, oh my God. I think he's done healing finally. I had a hop like three times because of PKers and everything. So this is taken, this is taken like 45 minutes. Please just kill him. How is he still kicking my butt? That's gotta be the kill. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a good drop. That's a good drop. I wish I kept my ether. Hold on. We can actually put this in here because I want to alk it and get the extra. Or maybe oh, I should save that for the dragon. Level 127 Hellhound. They don't drop anything. On to Elder Chaos Druid because there's actually no 128. I found this one druid just completely lone wolf in it. Oh, Renar Marantil. Ah, I've had this Renar for ages. I don't... I don't think I'm gonna pick any of that up. Level 130 bandit for coins. Right guys, we dropped their law of death for Nar. I'm skeptical to drop anything that has any alk value in case I score big on the nature runes, which I know is unlikely, but I gotta hold out. We're buying another shields because we want to go kill a bronze dragon. That was a lot easier than expected. I thought that was a rune battle axe at first. Almost got really excited there. These guys actually have a pretty good drop table. They drop cosmic runes 1 in 20, like 12 of them, and then 1 in 60 for both a rune med and a rune scimitar. Hope I can kill it. Let me take this off. Switch to my trusty bow. You can poison a skeleton? That's wild to me. Oh, that was a promising one. This video wouldn't be complete without killing the obby, guys. 133. It's going to be a lucky drop if we get one, but had to at least try. I had to tag this one because I kept attacking the wrong one. 134, Spiritual Warrior. What's the drop? What's the drop? Mid Spear. We don't want that. We don't want that. I thought long and hard for like 10 minutes if I should try and kill the Revenant Dragon, and I'm ultimately deciding not to. It's the same level as this Rogue for 135. The reason is I'm comparing it to the Knight and thinking it's going to take over 9, 10, 11 attempts, whatever that took. It's in such a PK hotspot. It's in such a rev killing hotspot as well. And I'm not going to have that luxury of not having my dragon crash to where it doesn't heal anymore. And I initially got really excited about this bracelet of Ethereum because I was like, oh, that's 75% damage reduction. But I forgot I had like no charges in there because I dropped all my other ether for inventory, not thinking I'd get a bracelet of Ethereum. So unfortunately, I'm opting to not do that because I don't want to die. I don't want to, you know, have a death sentence. And that would just be really annoying. Just bones? Do they even drop anything? I don't think they do. Uh, also, I even thought about alking this and then buying a D-Mace, but I'm actually still a little short. 136 Hellhound. Level 137 Avianzi for silver ore. Could be like a jewelry 
maybe. I don't know what I'd make, but we'll we'll pick it up. Thank God these guys are low HP, or else I would have gotten absolutely clobbered here. Uh, yeah, they don't drop anything. I know their choice. Okay, dying in temple trekking would be the worst possible thing. 139 snail? I can't risk that. I can't risk that. We gotta go... Oh. Snellm actually reduces damage, and I dropped my Snellm. How unlucky is that? Oh, we got the mage helping! I can't risk that. This is... Why is this harder than it should be? So we got lucky and ended up getting a Swamp Snake, which is the same combat level, and in, in all honesty, I don't care. And that's a 140 Shade dead. I tried to actually also kill a Skeletal Wyvern. Didn't work out so well. The Icy Breath and all. You can't use the anti dragon file Shield for that. I've lost one damage this entire fight. I am quite literally a tank. Quarm? It can be a super strength pot. We're dropping that Silver Ore. 142 Skeleton dead. Yeah, they don't drop anything. Untradeable Bones. Wow. Can't trade Bones down here? Everything I kill now is doing hefty damage. 143 Bronze Dragon. Uh, we definitely want to pick up our bolts, and we want to pick up those coins, and we want to tell you right out of here. That's it. Oh, wow. This is a close fight. There's no 144s, so we went right to 145, and we're getting out of here. We're in a little bit of a situation right now. We have to kill a Talon Wyvern. It is a 147, and there are no other 147s that I can kill. The problem, as with the other wyverns we've encountered, is I don't have a mine shield or a dragon fire shield. The anti dragon fire shields don't work against them. So I'm going to do a little test run with some rigor on and just run in and see what happens. I don't know how often their attack is. Let me stand next to them in case they have melee attacks so they use that more often. And we'll see how this attempt goes. Okay, their attack doesn't seem to be that common. There it is. Didn't hit insanely high. I'm frozen. I can't move. I do have to be careful here. I don't really know what that attack can hit. Ooh. Do I keep risking it? I, I want to try it. I want to try and just get my stuff back. Hit. Hit. Oh my god. No way we did that. No way we did that. Adam and I bar. Uh, uh, we can drop the hammer, even though I'll need that. Telly, telly, telly. Only two of them. Mm, we'll just keep those for now. I don't think I'll actually make anything with that. I can't believe we did it. What? We're going to need lots of space for what we're doing next. So we're going to drop anything we can get back really easily. Can't see myself really using that. I guess we'll just drop the Vams too, because if I get Alks, that's definitely not going to be the first thing I'm going to think about Alking. So I'm in a little bit of a weird predicament here. The only way that I am able to kill a level 148 is to go inside the Armadillo's encampment, which means I need a Mithril crossbow. Now, we already have a crossbow. The Dorgish crossbow can fire Mithril grapples, um, but I will, in fact, have to use this shop. Oh, there's no coal. Someone's buying it out. Okay, there we go. I think we just need four because I am literally... Oh, that was so expensive. Let's go to a Blast Furnace World. Quickly make these two bars and then dip. We'll have to spend some coins doing that though. All right, watch this speed. Deposit coins. I'll just put in like a thousand in case somehow that gets sucked all away. Look at my GP go down. What the heck? That's so fast. We gotta take that out instantly. Oh my gosh, I don't have a bucket. I don't have a bucket. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Withdraw coins. All of it, all of it. What do you mean how much? Take it all out. Am I able to get that out without paying any money? Okay, if I would have known it would have sucked GP that much out of my bank account. Yikes, I wouldn't have done that. There we go, two myth bars. Okay, I just realized I broke one of my rules by picking up a bucket. Uh, I do just want to say, I think I literally spent more money than it would have cost if I just bought four extra coal and went to a normal furnace. So hopefully we can call it even. All right, we have the bars with us. Let's get another hammer and we wanna buy one feather. Oh, and a rope as well. Now I believe to make this, we have to make bolts and then we need to make the grapple hook and then we make one bolt with feathers on it and then use this on that and then that on that and we get the Mythical Grapple. I don't think it actually uses the Myth Grapple. Oh shit, okay. Trip one is just gonna be finding the Avianzi. Which one is he? 
He's is he all the way back there? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I always do. Yeah, this is gonna take some attempts. I'm trying to risk it as long as possible here. We're tanking. 3 HP. Oh my god, that was dumb. That was dumb. One more hit. He's dead though. Silver ore. Wow, that's tough. These are getting tough. It feels so nice to get a nice easy one. 149 to Zar. Save spot. Good drops. But we get nothing. Not even to cool. There's a man Shaman. It was kind of easy. Not gonna lie. There's a man Fang. Oof. There were some rude items I could have got, but we don't get any. I have really bad news, guys. We're gonna have to alk something. There is only one monster that is 151 combat, and it's a Virewatch Sentinel. And you need a flail in order to kill it. 20k? I'm definitely not buying the better one. I don't have 20k, but I do have an elk. It, it has to be done. I don't have any other option, guys. I've been holding out so long to elk something for an upgrade, and I don't even get to splurge on an upgrade. I have to elk this. Uh, let's just buy it and get it over. They're buying the cheaper one. 20k. Guys, there is a 1 in 9 chance for nature runes, and we can alk to our heart's content. And we don't get it. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. We just spent 20k. I'm gonna cry. I guess this weapon isn't awful. The problem is it's 5 tick. I mean, it's okay. It might it might be better than the dagger. It might, it might be better than the dagger. And it's crush. Wow, okay, the attack bonus is, is pretty high. I'll give it that. And that's a red dragon dead. I tried to take it down with the flail, although it was a bit it was a bit too hard. Thankfully, they're easy to save spot. It's funny enough, that was 152. We're gonna shoot right to 158 because there's nothing in between. This bastard took a little bit of time to kill. Ooh, super attack. Very nice. So this is our saving grace, guys. There is a one in four chance to get nature runes. I feel like if we don't get it here, it's shot. Oh, I'm gonna cry. There is huge gaps in between a lot of these levels I'm gonna be going through, guys. Just FYI. So, uh, Ancient Page. Okay. I should not have risked that. Gorilla Bones. Untradeable? 172 Black Demon. For some coins. Oh, please get it down. Please get it down. There we go. It can drop nature runes. Pure essence. Oh! Oh my god. I can technically skill. We're doing some more cleaning so I can make a few nature runes. We're gonna have to run through the abyss. I actually did get a nature talisman drop. I just chose not to pick it up because the abyss is always an option. You don't need a talisman when you use that. Oh, this is so clutch. This is so clutch. Okay. I don't want to go too nuts on the alking, but we're going to alk these two things for now. Honestly, can I alk this as well? 12k? Alright, I'm not going to alk it. We we have the gnats. We can get more gnats if we want. Alright, we got to take some of our armor off so when we unnote it, we only get one pure essence because I don't want to make multiple cosmic runes. I mean, I can enchant things like this, but then I can't even wear the ring because it'll just get rid of it. I don't even want to wear it on things I need help with. So we're doing the same thing with air runes that we did just like the cosmic runes. We ended up getting two cosmics for one rune and nine air. All right, let's go down and get molds and unnote a bar and ultimately make this defense, Amy. All right, that's created. We're going to buy a ball of wool and arty. Then it's just a simple enchantment. Ball of wool. Use. Use. Enchant. Not a great amulet, but... We take what we can get, especially when we look like this, and we'll just drop that. We're also at 99k, I just realized. We're gonna do it. You can't alk that item? That's BS. That's BS. We're still doing it, though. Daga. I honestly did not expect this day to come. I just realized I should have alked the rune dagger. I mean, I still have that, but again, I don't want to be sending runes left and right. Level 178 Black Demon. Quick kill at my new scimitar. Imagine I got a dark bow. I don't think it'd be that useful, but it would be 
funny as hell. I would definitely try to use it. So we have two more black demons coming up. Level 184, then we're gonna head right to the Wildy and kill one level 188. Black demon, level 188. We're getting high. Ooh, rune dagger. Okay, that's an alk. We got food too. Food that we can only eat in the Wildy, but food nonetheless. 189 iron dragon. This simi is tearing through these monsters. Addy bolts, kind of useless. Oh, move. 192 Drake. Oh my god, I'm still in the mindset that I need nature runes. That still made me fucking nut myself. It's so weird. These strangled creatures are so high leveled. On the wiki, it shows no stats, but they are like the easiest thing to kill with like no defense and no HP. Level 200 Greater Necro. The last time we killed the Necro, we got a really good drop. 5 HP. Chaos runes. Um... We'll drop these boots again. I don't think I'm going back in there. And we better get out of here. Well, guys, we have our first boss or demi boss, I should say. Uh, this is actually my second attempt running in here trying to attack it. Now, I don't really know exactly how to approach this because I'm going to have a few demi bosses coming up soon. Uh, we do have five uncooked lobsters that, of course, we can cook. And we do have these two pieces of food here. With him. I probably could just cheese my way through it and, you know, trickle his HP down a little bit here and there and just keep telling and coming back. And that honestly might be what we have to do because if I can do it, it's always better to conserve food than waste food. Oh, the first demi boss kill for Wine of Zamorak. That could be a ranging pot. Do uh, I mean, I don't have the dwarf weed. Mm, I'm not going to pick it up. I don't think there's many things I'm going to range going forward, especially with the Decimitar now. Well, it's a really good thing we got this huge nature rune drop. So we're going to alk this rune dagger because we want to buy a mirror shield. I believe it's only 5k. Yep, we need to kill a Basilisk Knight. So the Basilisk Knight and the Crazy Archaeologist actually have the same combat level. I had them both written down and just realized that they're actually the same. And I opted for this one because I couldn't even tell you the last time I've killed a Basilisk Knight. And to be honest, a little quicker, and I'm not too crazy about the Archaeologists. Whoa! Oh god, we're back at the Wyverns. Instantly get blasted. Okay, I can't even get to my location. That was a back-to-back -back blast. That didn't happen last time. Okay, we actually made it to the wyverns this time. These guys scare me. They're big. They're, they, they fly higher. They probably hit harder. I'm hitting them, though. Uh, maybe I try to get a spec weapon. Spec them out real quick. Come on, get the final hit. Get the final... Oh, five... There we go. That's it. I gotta be careful with the other guy. Oh, that's, 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 oh my god. What do I do? 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 Uh, fuck the quarm. Fuck the quarm. Shit! I'll never make it back in time to get all those sharks. Oh my god, we made it back. We made it back. We made it back. We made it back. Shark, 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 shark. I didn't drop anything too unimportant. How come now I'm just taking like zero damage now that it doesn't really matter as much? I'm gonna risk it. I'll risk it one more time. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this, man. I gotta... Uh, it's coins. I want that. I still want him to kill me. I'm a little nervous after this Tazar kill. Because our next monster isn't just a monster. It's a demi-boss. It's a demi-boss that is weak to magic. And I don't have many runes. Alright, we really have to clear out our inventory now. Uh, we gotta drop this. We can't alk it. Let's alk this. Let's alk this. I'm gonna miss that rune dagger P+. Plus. I liked it a lot. Let's make this into red dehyde vams. And we're gonna make ourselves a magic amulet. Alright, so let's buy this, this. Let's get the necklace build back. And we'll make this so we can alk it. I don't know. It's probably around like 2k, maybe a little less. Inventory management's gonna be a bit wonky. I gotta cut this, so it's gonna be a case of just doing... Oh, I didn't have to drop that second piece. But we can now drop that again. Let's pick up our stuff. All right, we're going to drop a shark and use this on there. I don't really know if I'm going to keep this stack of gold bars for much longer. I won't drop them yet, but we'll see. Make the sapphire amulet. I still have that one cosmic rune, which is perfect. I just need to get a ball of wool real quick after I pick up my shark. Ball of wool. This. Enchant amulet of magic. Off to Varrock. 
All right, we don't have any air runes. We have 16 pure essence. I'll probably make most of those into fire runes. I have 48 bloods. Those bloods are going to come in handy. So we will buy an air staff instead of a fire staff. I'm so sick of not having made this potion because it's taking up so much room in my inventory. Uh, so let's just make it and hope you don't die. Drop. Just making some fire runes with my leftover runes because we definitely don't have enough to match the blood. So I think the remaining eight are all gonna go towards fire runes as well. I was thinking about making earth runes actually for entangle. Problem is, I barely have enough casts to even kill the boss, so I'm gonna have to have 100% run and just keep running around the room and kind of avoid all the melee damage that Scorpion is gonna throw my way. It's also a really good thing that anti-poisons are sold in a shop. So I just wanna get an idea of how hard Scorpion is gonna hit. I'm gonna walk there so I can get 100% run as if I was actually getting the kill. The only thing I'll probably waste is one dose of anti-poison. I really wanna know how hard she's gonna hit me. The reason why I'm so stressed about this is because I can't just like run in and cheese it with a dragon scimitar. One, she has pretty high melee defense, and two, once you get her below half HP, those healers are gonna get her right up to full. And in all honesty, I don't even know if this boss regens HP once somebody leaves. I know a few bosses do that. But right now, my main focus is to get past the healer phase. That's why I'm kind of thinking, okay, we gotta go balls deep, use all of our runes, make sure we get the healers dead, and then we could just take it from there. Okay, this doesn't seem too bad. I don't know. Okay, I gotta get better at not being hit by Scorpia. She's got a pretty big attack radius. I wonder if I run in like a diagonal pattern. That seems to avoid the attack because she kind of swings around. Uh-oh, don't die. Okay, I feel confident I could do that. I do not want to splash and we are going as much magic attack as possible. I think... That's as high as we can realistically get it. I'm really tempted just to drop the chaos runes and the water runes. Maybe not the water runes. The chaos runes, I don't really think I'll need. I'm going to restack on the ante as well. I'll definitely bring a four dose. I'm going to drop the U logs. Been holding on to those guys for a while. Um, I don't know if this shield's worth bringing. It gives some defense. Again, I don't really know how the attack rolls work at Scorpia? Is it range defense or is it typeless? But I'm not going to probably wear the shield anyway, so I'll just keep that shield on. And then I think I fill these three slots up with cooked lobsters. After I cook these lobsters, we're ready to go. This could be the make or break right now, and I'm extremely nervous. Look, I'm so nervous I'm forgetting to cook them. Now, I'm a little nervous. We probably won't have enough runes, so I might actually try to melee the minion. I look, they only have 60 defense and they have no stats or like no armor stats, so I should tear through them. And I really don't want to waste any more bloods that I have to. It's going to be like a judgment call when I go in there. Let's do this. Where are you, Scorpia? All the way over there. Let's try to get in that pattern I was talking about, that diamond. We might take a few hits getting into it. If not, that'll be perfect. Nope, but we did, that's fine. Yeah, I might actually even have to run out to regain run. Oh, I can't even do this properly. Why was I doing it fine before? Is that gonna be the healers? It is, okay, let's get on our armor. Heidi, can we actually walk underneath Scorpia? Sort of. Don't know if that's working. I'm out of run. Okay, let's just get these guys down. And then maybe restock on food. We still have 12 lobsters plus one lobster there. And the angler. Uh, I don't know if this was the smartest play. We're, we're out of run, so we can't really keep attacking it anymore. Imagine somebody was in the world killing it right here. I would cry. This is like the moment of truth. Are the healers going to spawn? I am awful at running that diamond. It's not as easy with this spell. Oh, I'm at a run. I'm going to have to leave. I'm going to have to leave. I'm going to have to leave. What if I did this? What if I walked in, got a few hits, and then walked out? And then I can switch sides. Oh! Okay, Scorpia is smarter than I thought. 
<gasps> I'm going to die, but I'm going to come back. Oh my gosh. I think I should just die and come back and pick up my stuff and keep killing it. Do I die in here? Guess it really doesn't matter. Okay. Where's my stuff? Loot. Uh, let's get our magic stuff on. Let's pick this up. Oh my gosh. I forgot an anti-poison. Please be it. 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 Oh, please be it. Oh, we're in shambles. But that's the kill. We're in shambles. A phoenix necklace. Oh, I guess that will prevent me from dying. Probably will just be an elk, by the way. Ah, oh, I'm so stressed I died. If I could have known, I could have just walked in, attacked it, and left. I don't know why that didn't cross my mind until I was out of food, but look. We got the kill. On to the next monster. I wonder if I'm going to live. I am. Wow. Oh, that was definitely the hardest one so far. Level 227 Black Dragon. It's crazy how we just went from Scorpia to something we could just sit behind a rock. Oh, you guys know what's coming up next. Oh, and he's, he's ready for me. Oh, come on. Don't. Don't kill me. There we go. I love them all so much. Loop half of key. Okay, we won't get rid of that just yet. Level 246, Steel Dragon, Sapphire. You'll notice a lot of dragons. 247, Black Dragon. This is actually pretty good because we're getting Black Dehyde. And trust me, there's also more dragons to come. Level 252, Lava Dragon. And this is big news. Oh, not the Law Runes. But we can make a Black Dehyde body. We're gonna tan these hides. Ooh, my character is off. I don't know how the heck I clicked. How'd I click in here? What the heck? Wants me to cook something. Uh, huge. Because we only had the Mithril body. And this is actually better in every single way. Next up, we have Calvarion. Ooh, is that a PKer? I'm not going to risk that. We have Calvarion. Yeah, that PKer came for me. Great thing about Calvarion is you don't need food and you don't need overhead prayers as long as you avoid all his attacks. You should never kill a Calvarion with anything that isn't a crushed weapon. Oh my gosh. But there's the kill. Uh, uh, I was kind of hoping for a super combat or an alkable, but who knows? Maybe we'll need to mage something soon. Level 271, Brutal Black Dragon. There's some, there's some juicy loots. Ooh, death runes. I'm going to go back and pick that up. That could be an Alk. 274 Steel Dragon. Ooh, knife. How many is that? Uh, it's kind of just pointless, isn't it? Guess we'll hold on to it for now. I think I might be a little bit in trouble. We have to kill a Demonic Gorilla next. And all we have to show for it is a Dragon Simi and a Dorgan Shun Crossbow. At least their range attack is a lot higher than it used to be. We're hitting it pretty good actually oh my gosh rar you gotta move from those oh my gosh okay this is gonna be a lot easier than i thought we are hitting it pretty good it's gonna take a few inventories i think that's actually very doable <laughs> okay okay i've been struggling a lot because it's either one of two things either they regen hp really really fast or someone kept killing the one i was attacking every time i went back so what i did was I ran over to this corner and damaged one, a place where no one kills demonic girls over here unless you're duoing them with someone. And I tagged the very specific one that I was attacking. So, oh my God, they regen. They regen. Oh my God, this is gonna be hard. I'm gonna need to really think about this because I have three lobsters and a dream right now. Okay. All right, back to the drawing board. Fuck. That was my worst attempt yet. I'm going to have to use my pots. I'm going to have to use those lobsters. I'm going to have to alk what I can. Try to update my range gear. Okay, so we have a phoenix necklace, which we'll definitely wear as well when we get to low HP. Uh, I thought about possibly going magic. Unfortunately, I think taking off my gear to mage... I don't really think it's worth it because my magic attack is zero with this gear on. And of course, my defensive bonuses plummet. So we're just going to get our pots back that are on the ground because we're definitely going to use the super attack and the combat potion. And we're probably going to alk everything we can, make that into Dragonhide armor, alk it, probably buy a U short bow, and then the best arrows we can get, which is going to be rune. 
They're going to be godly expensive. And then, of course, cook the lobster. I wanted to enchant this, but we used all of our uh, pure essence to kill Scorpia. All right, we're going to alk these two blue dehyde van braces. Uh, we're going to alk this as well. Definitely won't be using that myth chain body. I mean, how much do these even alk for? If I need to, I'll start getting rid of that as well. I don't want to just go crazy alking because I don't think we need that much money. We only really get one attempt. We only have three lobsters and one super attack. It's not like we can keep trying this over and over and over again with all of our supplies. Wait, this works? Are you kidding me? It's gonna be this easy? There is no way I just cheesed that. Oh my god. I didn't even know I could do that. That was such a happy accident. And a decent drop as well. There's no way. There is no way. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get this guy down. I seem to be hitting him pretty good. Let's hope his HP doesn't regen because I am completely out of food. No more super attacks. Try to get one more hit. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, wow, that took a while. That took a while. Eat Black Dragon Hide. I can make Black Dragon Hide chaps. Holy crud. And or Alks. It's a good thing we were able to take him down because another level 276 is actually the King Black Dragon, which I want to say I don't think I can take down. So we kind of got lucky that they share the same combat level. Oh my god. I might have to use the super combat on Hispori. I also need to get an anti-poison. Do I risk this? Spec. Ah, oh, this is like my third attempt. I keep kind of getting close, but it's just not quite. It's just not quite. Oh my god, we're like pretty much fucking broke after buying that anti-poison. I didn't realize I was such low cash. Uh, I can't even alk. I guess... Oh, I can't even alk. Well, we better get it with this anti-poison. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to pot combat pot. Anti-poison. And we'll just... I don't even know what attack style he uses. Because if it's magic, it might be magic. So I'll put on that. The extra magic defense. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we do that. Definitely get Pity on. Wish I had a spec weapon. Oh, nope. That's a good magic attack. But is that a range attack? I honestly don't know. So I'll just stay like this, keep the shield on. I feel like I'm doing okay damage, but Aspori is just kicking my butt. Maybe I'll do that when I'm attacking the flowers. Go back here. Yes, hit zero is hit. 31. Nice. I know it's going to be flowers any second. Yep. Can't attack for a few ticks here. Flowers are out. Switch to this. Switch to this. Hit zeros, Hispori. Hit zeros. Hit zeros. Switch back to Pity. Is it going to come out again, the flower? Oh, my God. Spec. Just accuracy. We want accuracy. Please hit zeros, please hit zeros, please hit zeros! Uh. Uh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. It's funny, I almost didn't want to harvest the Spore at first because it's, um... Ooh, 12k farming XP. Because the spade costs money and I'm broke, but it was only 3 GP, so we're gonna drop that instantly. Uh, honestly, we're gonna just drop this stuff and pick that stuff back up. Brutal Red Dragon. That took a while to take down. 
Uh, I would like this red dragon hide. Air runes. Um, I'm just going to drop that. I'm not going to need that. Will I need that? I, I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't think I need that. Oh, the next one's bad. The next one is, is going to be bad. I think it's the worst one so far. The next one is Spindle. And this is bad because this is the only combat potion we have. That's our only anti-poison. We can't buy any more anti-poison. I was a really big idiot and just threw my Alex on Addy Jabs to buy more of these rune arrows, which I bought way too many. And I'd love to maybe Alk the Dragon Scimitar to actually buy a Dragon Mace because he's weak to crush. All right, we're just going to YOLO. Unfortunately, it's very crowded here as well. All right, it's half dead. This is just a test anyway. Okay, I need to get a seed pod because I can't be risking this every single time. I don't... <sighs> that wasn't much damage at all. I don't want to, like, cheat, so I got to find an empty world. Fuck! Yeah, there's somebody in there. This is the problem. I can't even cheese it because it's going to take me probably, like, an hour to kill him. And I just can't see a world where there's no way I don't get crashed in an hour. Technically, they're not even crashing because I have to bank a whole bunch of times. So they just see an empty world and they run in and start attacking it. And they'll probably see it half dead and, you know, they'll be all over that. Okay, it's HP is looking decently chipped away at. Let's try to get back as fast as possible. Run is such a huge issue as well because I have to run up here quick to not lose my world. And then, oh, it's the wrong telly. And then this web thing just drains run as well. Oh my God, get it down. Get it down. Get it down, get it down, get it down. Oh my god, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Hit. 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 Oh, <gasps> that was not as bad as I thought it was. I won't lie. I won't lie. Super stores. Oh, I gotta make room for that. I was only able to snag two. I dropped the uh, red dehyde. Spindle spawns pretty quick, and I had to just dip out. I, I don't even know if I'll really need it. Um... We have Dagonoth Kings up next. I gotta kill one of them somehow. I guess it's a good thing we got these Chaos Rune drops because I think Rex is the only possible one to kill. Um, I mean, I guess we could probably use the other runes too. The The issue is we can't kill Prime because we can't use protection and Prime will absolutely mess us up, especially with no food. And Supreme, Supreme is really hard to attack without getting the other two on you. So we have to sneak around but I don't even think the issue is killing Rex. I think the issue is getting to Rex. This is gonna be really, really tricky because just to get to this first part through the dungeon, I lost like 20 HP. I'm regening some now because I'm waiting for my run to get back. Accidentally kept Pity on as well, so only 32 prayer. I don't really know how this is gonna go. We gotta run through a lot of monsters and tank a lot of hits, and we can't use protection prayers. We have no food. And I should state that I used my all to help me get in because I obviously can't afford rune throwing axes because I spent all my money uh, buying way too many rune arrows, like I said before. And we're already 54 HP. What? What? I even had my dehyde on and everything. I freaking dropped these when I died. Oh, okay, okay. Six run, we're gonna wait here now. We're doing much better, but we still got lots to go. Oh my god, 47, 33 HP. We got a peak, there's one adventurer. This might be the biggest problem. Finding an empty world. Actually, just kidding, no, you can peek in here now. There actually is no one in there. The biggest problem is gonna be walking down and getting the correct spawn to run around. And then even if I do get the spawn, I have to survive all the sin plops that are down there. And without being able to protect I can get one banged very fast. Uh, like that. Oh, tank it, tank it. Nope. Right there. Right there. This is... I mean, this run, for example, is already shot. Oh, this is dumb. You've been trying this. But uh, just get out of here. All right. We're going to try to go right in. We're going to try to go right in. Oh. Okay. There's not somebody here, is there? Don't attack me. Oh my gosh, there's somebody here. We're gonna have to try to find a way to hop. Let's hop. Can we hop right here? Try to hop. I'm trying to hop. I'm trying to hop. I'm trying to hop. Okay, we got the hop. Is this world empty? 
Oh my god. Oh my god, Rex, what are you doing all the way in fucking left field? I'm gonna run up. Just like this. Safe spotted. We're gonna have to switch. I'm gonna use my death spells next. I completely forgot about poison, but these guys are extremely inaccurate. Uh, it's a good thing we actually have these uh, super restores. I probably still would have lived, but more accurate, better defense. Um, I believe the magic and the range both roll on your range defense. Um, but of course, the dehide still gives some range defense, so we're going to keep that on. Getting a little nervous, but I still think we're going to be okay. Just if I can hit more than fucking one, that'd be brilliant. Oh my god. Oh my god, we actually got the 303 coins? Oh my gosh, was that rare drop table? I think it was. We actually got the kill. I can't believe that. It took like, I don't know, eight attempts, seven attempts, seven, eight attempts running through. That took many trips, more trips than I'd like to admit. Rune Spear. Okay, could be an Alk. All right, we have the Chaos Ellie next. This one shouldn't be too bad if we can just flinch it, which I believe is pretty easy. I think I'm at the wrong tree, though. Let's try this one. We just do this. It'll take a little bit of time, but we can take zero damage. And that's the kill. Mithril Dart. Oh, we could have gotten a Dragon Dagger. Literally 1 in 11. 300. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big Bones. Weird drop for a cloud. We have Serachnus up next. 318. Wow, that was a big jump. Another boss on the agenda. Let's just kind of fling ourselves right in. Without protection prayers, I do think we're going to get hit pretty hard. Uh, so Serachnus is weak to crush. We did just hit her first hit. It was a 1. And then she healed it right back. Uh, but we hit again. I mean, it doesn't look like crush is that important here. Only has plus 10 crush defense and plus 40 slash defense. So it's not astronomically. It's not like I need a crush weapon to do this. But I seem to be hitting okay. The problem is with no food, this is going to be a bit annoying. And I know minions are going to spawn as well. But at least we can hit it. So I think everything should be okay. Oh, there's these minions. I think we're supposed to kill them. Oh, we're gonna get clapped out. We're gonna get clapped out. We're gonna get clapped out. We'll just come back. I always have this huge problem of keeping Pity on whenever I telly out. But anyways, doesn't really matter because we can just keep coming back. But, uh... Oh! <gasps> oh my god, did it heal? Oh no. Was that because of the minions? Maybe because of the minions were out or something? Did the minions heal, Serachnus? Or does it regen... I mean, she's regening a shit ton right now. Fucking hell. How is that attempt so much worse than the first one? So it did heal this time as well, although it was pretty much full HP. So I want to see if I can get a few more hits on it. Tell you out before the minions come out and see if they have anything to do with regening it to full. So you know what? We'll just tell you out now to test this. I don't want to accidentally spawn them by mistake. It's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I really don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, I seem to hit it pretty good, but Serachnus heals even during the fight, and the moment the minions spawn, I'm gonna get clobbered. I'm gonna have to think about this. I don't know what I could do. I have no cash, I have no alks, I have no food. This is this is not good. Ugh, no, I tried like walking underneath it and flinching it, but didn't really seem to help at all. Okay, so here's the game plan. We're gonna keep running in and out. We're gonna wait until the attempt is going really good. And then we're gonna use the Phoenix Necklace and the Redemption Prayer. And I... <laughs> there, it, there it goes. Fighty's still on. Oh, certainly... Certainly not a great attempt. Bro, what the hell? Taking 12 damage just walking to Seracnus? <sighs> Let's get a Redemption! Damn. Okay, I in no way think this is actually going to work because I give up a lot of strength and even a lot of attack. Granted, it's in crush, but I still give up a lot of attack bonus and I drop a shield. So I don't think this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. Oh, we hit her first. We hit her first hit. We hit her second. No way this is going to be better. 
Let's put on the shield when we can attack. Like that. Shields. Attack. My restore is still on the ground. Oh, I gotta drop something to pick that up. We'll drop this. That's how we're gonna use our redemption. Dude, this is my best attempt yet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I take him out? Let's get Phoenix Necklace on. Redemption. Oh, I think I ranged the wrong one. Fuck! Okay, what we learned. The spear might actually be better. Unfortunately, I used my Phoenix Necklace, and I used one dose of my Restore. I ranged the wrong minion, so I gotta, I gotta have good RNG, and I gotta make sure I hit the right prayers. What messed me up is I'm not used to using the Redemption Prayer, and I couldn't, like, find it at first, so I set it as a Quick Prayer. I should actually do Quick Prayer Pity. Like that, yeah. And we have two doses, so that's gonna be three Redemptions. I want my Phoenix Necklace back, you bastard. Maybe I got lucky with the Spear the first time. I don't even know anymore, man. I don't even know. We're getting insane RNG right now. Oh no, I just jinxed it! Let's get him down. Let's just get this up. <sighs> Wasted a dose. And it didn't even proc. Oh! Why isn't that proccing? There we go. Oh, that's not a spear. Here we go. And that was my best attempt yet. That is all my resources gone. And that is going to conclude the end of the one monster per combat level saga. I said I would keep going until I physically couldn't get a kill with the given restrictions that I gave myself. I cannot believe out of all the monsters I've killed in this video, Serachnus is the one that did me dirty. I think Serachnus definitely is possible to kill with the given restrictions and with how I was getting drops as I was going throughout this challenge. I just did not save enough fire runes. I could have alked my dragon Simi, bought that dragon mace to exploit his lack of crush defense, and then of course saving more prayer pots to ultimately get more heals during the fight. But it is what it is. That is the fun of the challenge. You don't really know the challenges you're going to face. It's impossible to look through every single monster and impossible to know what drops you're going to get to kill those monsters. Like Rex, for example. If I didn't get those Chaos runes, I would in no way have gotten the DK kills down. In fact, even with those Chaos runes, I thought I was going to lose at the DKs, but we even managed to get through that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a long video. If you do enjoy these kind of videos, let me know, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take it easy.